I'm going to give you my quick input on uh, the differences between doing a DIY solar generator system versus a pre-made solar generator system. And I've got both types right here. Now, if you guys have been following the channel, you know I mostly talk about pre-made solar generator systems, but there is some merit to doing stuff on your own. And so I want to talk about that as well. So if that's something of interest to you, then make sure you stick around. But in the end, it's going to be a decision that you have to make that you think is best for your situation. So at poweredportablesolar.com, that's what we do is help figure out what system is going to work best for you, how many watts and panels you need, how much battery capacity you need, what size inverter you need, all of that stuff, whether you're connecting to your whole house, just running extension cords around, all of that. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video. I think this one's going to be pretty helpful for you in figuring out which is better, DIY or pre-made. Now, right off the bat, one of the biggest advantages of going with a DIY system is you get to control exactly what you get. So for example, I've got three different types of batteries. I've got an Amper Time, which are these two right here. I've got a Power Queen. I've got a Time USB. And these are all lithium iron phosphate batteries. They're all pretty much the exact same battery, just configured in different ways. So the advantage of these 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries up top here is that they're literally drop-in replacements for something like an RV battery, where you could greatly increase your overall onboard capacity just by swapping out your lead acid batteries for these, these are gonna last you as long as your RV or longer, and you never really have to worry about them ever again. And they are literally just drop in, just replace, nothing else fancy necessary at all. But you can only put so many batteries together, and so if you were to go with these smaller batteries, say you put four of them together, it's basically gonna be the maximum amount of batteries you can connect together. And so it would be more advantageous to have a 24 volt, 100 amp hour, or even a 48 volt system uh, because you can connect a larger capacity together. And so therefore you can use more power for longer. You increase your fuel tank size. So that's where these batteries are more helpful because these are 12 volt batteries as well, but they're 200 amp hour. And so I could still connect up to four of these together, but I'd have double the capacity as these batteries here. And so you can pretty much make as large of a battery system that you want doing a DIY system. But then you have to wonder how to connect everything together if you accidentally touch two terminals together and then you cause a big spark, you know, the fire risk and the scared, you know, idea of being electrocuted and such versus something like this Delta Pro system where you literally just plug these heavy duty cables right into the back of it and they don't even have to be the same voltage or balanced or anything. You just plug the main unit to a battery and it does all the auto balancing, recharging, discharging, everything for you. But the limitation is the Delta Pro can only use Delta Pro batteries. And these are lithium iron phosphate batteries as well. And they're gonna last just as long as these batteries here, but I'm limited to what these two batteries in this internal battery can give me, which is about 10,800 watt hour. But then you could go with something like the Hisolus MPS3K, which can have a ton of batteries connected to it, but they're lithium ion batteries, not lithium iron phosphate. Or soon to be surpassed by the MPS3K from High Solus is the Apollo, which can have like eight more Apollos added to it. And each Apollo can have like eight more batteries on it. And they're all lithium iron phosphate. So it could be a massive system. And so that's something that's going to be coming available soon. And so you want to keep an eye out for that if you're interested in stuff like that. But really, so we've got the Blue Eddy AC500. Really systems like this are designed to make things simple for you because you don't have to be an electrical engineer in order to put all these together but you wanna have a little bit of experience if you're doing your own system because with a battery system of your own, you're gonna need a charge controller and then you need to make sure your charge controller can handle enough of the solar input to recharge the batteries properly in a single day while the batteries are able to run your vital equipment like an air conditioner or a fridge, freezer, lights, fans, TV, Wi-Fi, whatever it is that you want to run. And if that all sounded complicated to you, then you should just send an email to info at poweredportablesolar.com. That way we can help guide sizing that system for you so that way you know exactly what you need uh, in the first place. One of the pros for going with a system that's pre-made is the warranty and the customer service. If you have a question on this system right here, you can either call EcoFlow or if you get it at poweredportablesolar.com, you get lifetime support from us and we can help guide you as to find out either what's wrong, if there is something wrong, or if you just need to connect something a different way, like your panels are configured in the wrong way or whatever the situation is. When it comes to a battery company like this, 
well, you could only get help with the battery. And so if there's an issue with your whole system and you don't know where that issue is, then you really have no idea where to start with customer service and you have to start doing all the diagnosing on your own before you can determine, well, it's actually the charge controller or whatever it is. So that way you can get a hold of the right company. And then because this company is different from this company, you may have issues with this company saying, well, we can't give a recommendation because you're using those batteries and those batteries may not communicate with this system or whatever, just as an example. So that's the complicated side of doing a DIY system is you do have to have some familiarity with what you're doing so that way you can diagnose stuff if there's an issue. Now, really, should there be an issue? Probably not. If you're going to use higher quality equipment, then relatively speaking, it should be pretty easy to figure out what's going on with the system. So the advantage of going with something like a Titan solar generator is that you can use more Titan batteries and you can even connect them externally with a cable like this. Or I can use other batteries like these lithium iron phosphate external batteries and get a different connection cable and connect them to the Titan. Now, the Titan is literally the only unit on the market where you can use a different brand of battery, it just has to be lithium, right? Lithium ion or lithium iron phosphate. And you can use it with the Titan. And it's very easy to program. It's a very, very simple system. It's been out for three years now. And I've been running my entire cabin for two and a half years, uh, actually more than two and a half years now, nonstop every single day for that time off of the Titan solar generator with three batteries total. I mean, this setup we've got right here, I've got two of them, I paid for them with my own money out of my own pocket, and it's a tried and true system. But you'll never be able to get 240 volt power out of it. It is only capable of doing 120 volt power. It's a 3000 watt inverter, very powerful. Now the High Solus MPS3K is another very good system, but it's a little outdated. The screen here doesn't read out very properly, and it's got kind of a Chinesey feel to it. And so I've got an expansion battery here on it, and that's awesome, I can expand with extra battery capacity, I can even add this charge controller to the battery and have massive solar input. So in that sense, it's really good. But user interface and user experience with this is really not that great compared to something like the Titan. And then even going down further to the Delta Pro here, this was basically the first system that you could take two Delta Pros, link them together with this 240 volt connection hub and get 240 volts. And with that, I can literally run my entire house, including the four mini split air conditioners that I had installed here on my own here at my house. So the Blue Eddy AC 500 can do that. The Blue Eddy AC 300 can do that. And the Apollo that's about to come out will be able to do that. Uh, there's a new Zender product that's coming out. The Renogy Lycan power box is not capable of doing 240 volt power. And so with pre-built systems, you're stuck with whatever the manufacturer is capable of doing with that system. Whereas a DIY system, you can pretty much build it to be whatever you want. So DIY is customizable to your needs, but requires some experience or you to pay someone to figure it out. And you may have some warranty or at least some customer help issues. Whereas a pre-made system, you're limited to what these systems are pre-designed to do, but you have all the customer service in one spot that's easily able to configure everything with you. And if there's an issue, it's gonna be covered under a warranty and replaced for free. So for me personally, I prefer pre-made systems because then I don't have to worry about setting the proper voltage on a charge controller. I don't have to worry about if a heavy duty cable because it's so rigid flips over and connects between a red and a black post or something like that. So there's a lot of pros to the pre-made system, but in the end, you're likely gonna pay more for that system because it's pre-done for you. That is a value, and so you're going to pay for that value. So unless you sit down and figure it all out and are willing to make the mistakes to become good at it, then I recommend a pre-made system like the Delta Pro or the MPS3K, the Titan, AC500, whatever it is, you can find out at poweredportablesolar.com which ones we recommend for your situation. For a DIY system, we're gonna be getting more in depth on this channel on how to do that. So you have more confidence in how to do that if that's something you're interested in. But just keep that in mind. There's a lot of cons to this. You really wanna be thinking about backup power outside of gas and propane and diesel, natural gas, whatever, because there are more power outages coming nationwide. It's just a matter of fact, we're getting more population and the grid is getting less and less power as we especially move away from more coal and more renewable. Uh, renewable on a large scale, as far as where it is right now, is really not that sustainable. So everybody should have their own backup power option. 
Personally, right now, I'm currently using the Delta Pro uh, with four batteries. So I've got two Delta Pros, four batteries total. It says 21 kilowatt hours of battery, 7,200 watts of inverting power. I can run my entire house. And I've done it multiple times for multiple days, running my entire house life like normal. And there is something special about being able to turn on the faucet and have hot running water without any problems at all. Um, it's something that is hard to put a price on. So whether you're gonna do your system on your own or get a pre-built system, get prepared. You can find these kits and pre-made systems at poweredportablesolar.com. We can help you figure out what you need. So thank you so much for being here. Be prepared. I will see you guys in the next video.